Allegedly. Hitting uh. the button. All right, we're going to work. We're getting... All right, fake now work. we're working. Fake work. Now we're working. Make, yeah, hey guys, typing. hit the keyboard really hard really and fast. Make it look like, like a, make it look right like now. movie. There you go. Movie keyboard. Like you're a, some sort of like, anchor. So where were we? Oh, at? welcome in. <laughs> welcome to. That's that's Hickok 45's thing. It used to be his thing. I don't know if he still does that. Oh, oh. hey there. You always get surprised <laughs> by the camera. No, you were, uh, on our on our attempt to go live that didn't work. You were saying something about every uh, live video or something starts with what was it? Oh, it, well, every GoPro video starts. The video is of your face because oh, yeah. you're always holding the GoPro, right? Trying to figure out is yep. it recording? I can't tell if it's recording. We did that one season for FP, for FPD when we would go to shut off the camera. Everybody would make a face so that because the last frame mm -hmm. is your funny face. Yeah, there, yeah. You gotta give the edit, keep the editors entertained. We. Yeah. Usually keep them in dark rooms with no windows. And yeah, which is fine. I'm fine with that. We, we throw Twinkies under the door and <laughs> <laughs> run away. Are you done? <laughs> Twinkies? Wait a minute. <laughs> Who gets Twinkie? Is this? We were talking about the '70s earlier, so maybe oh. that's where the, the whole Twinkies. '70s, came in. '70s, the the land of uh, fake food, powdered food. All right, everything yeah. powdered. Hungry man. Twinkies, Hungry man? ding dongs. What are the cupcakes? Ho hos. Ho, -ho hos. Yeah. Wow. I mean, like, I'm plugged in. Yeah. Man, we are just freaking amateur hour today, aren't we, guys? Wee. I'll talk louder. <laughs> no, you can just tell us to Yeah. Like, definitely it's like not you don't here. even care. Oh, boy. All right, Jason. Yes, we're going to get to this. Oh, goodness. How much money do you think Bloomberg promised the Mexican government to file Hello. this against the U.S. Oh, gun okay. manufacturers? Yeah, we're going to talk about... I'll sit here and do All this. All sorts of news. Nutter butters. Marlin news. Marlin rifles. Nutter butter. Nutter butter. Ooh, yeah. Nutter butter. another oh, fake. Oh, the star, fake food. star crunch. The, there's the white stars. With the icing on. Is that a thing? Uh, like zebra cakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Test one, two. It you is got amazing me. they still but make that. Which stuff. one do you choose? Fudge rounds. Uh, That's what but, I'm going with. Oh, Fudge what rounds. about the oatmeal? Oatmeal pies. Cream pie things. Yeah. I'm going with fudge rounds. You know what I used to eat? Fudge rounds? The pecan wheels. The little pecan oh, wheels. Gross. I used to jam on those. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> honey bun. Ugh. Honey, honey bun. bun. Honey, honey bun. bun. Frosted honey bun. Frosted honey bun. Yeah. Jeez. That. That. that oh, yeah. Pink snowballs coconut. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Talk about stuff that's not real food. Oh, my gosh. That's no, no coconut. Is there any food in Sugar. this food? No yeah. coconut. <laughs> no coconut? No coconut? Oh, no I, coconut. I dig on coconut. Oh. No. no I'm coconut. team coconut. Team coconut. No. Yeah. Little Debbie Swiss cake rolls. Rob. Cake rolls. That, that, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a thing. Anything. Jeez. Anything Little Debbie. Little yeah. Debbie knew how to cook. Man, she is awesome. Yeah. Little Debbie. All, All right. right. All right. We are brought Here we to you go. today. New new company. New company on board. Yeah. We're really excited about it. Benelli. You know them. You love them. All right. I'm going to tell you right Inertia now. Inertia shotguns, obviously. I've been, running a, I've been running a Vinci forever. Um, the one thing I did have to do is I have, it lasted a long time, but I had to replace the butt pad on mine. Like, I shot it so much. Really? Oh, yeah. And guess what? Yeah. I only cleaned it. Two years ago, I've had it since it came out, and I, I have buried it in mud. So, <laughs> Vanelli would never recommend this. No. They, would, they don't even. I don't even think they would make this claim. But I've heard that from many people who are like, they like. Yeah, they look around. Hey, and go, I haven't cleaned this gun in like four years, and I go hunting in salt water yes. marsh. Well, uh, see, I don't do that. But, <laughs> like, but I, I will tell you that they run good. Yes, they just run. Uh, Smith & Wesson, all right, you tell me, huh. what's their new gun? It's the MMP Shield, Shield Plus, 9mm micro job, compact, 13 plus 1 capacity, people, and flat face trigger, enhanced grip angle. Here's the thing, when you compare the Shield Plus to the OG Shield, they're not much difference in size. Like. I mean, you can kind of tell, but it's like you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell. Much difference. But there's not there's not a lot of difference there. But there is a difference. We're talking about five more rounds. Yeah, that's significant. Five more yeah. rounds. 
So uh, backed by Smith Wesson's lifetime service policy. Find yours at smith-wesson.com. Also, have you heard? The Colt Anaconda if is you, back. If you've been watching this channel, you definitely know the Anaconda is back. Classic snake gun in their snake gun series. They have the Python. The Anaconda is the big brother. So this is 44 Magnum. They make it in 8-inch and 6-inch barrels. Uh, drilled and tapped for optic mounts. Pogue grips. Well, it comes with... You can get the really pretty grips, which are really pretty. Yes, they But are. if you're going to shoot full house 44 Magnum loads... I recommend those Hogue grips. <laughs> yes. um, ask little, me how I know. A little bit more <laughs> tactile oh, grip. Woo. Hey. Um, awesome. Just find out more at Colt.com. Hodgton powder. I know you either reload or you're thinking about getting into reloading right now. Um, they have a passion for it. They've been doing it since 1947. They're the largest U.S. supplier of smokeless black powder and black powder substitute propellants. Period. And one thing Ryan's not mentioning yet, and I think you were probably going there. We were playing around on their reloading. Yeah, the data reloading is, data center. So you go into Hodgson.com or HodgsonReloading.com, and you can plug in different cartridges. You can play with it like what tells does it you kind of exactly do? what you need, like what mm -hmm. your formula is. And I think that's yeah. one thing that that as new reloaders come into this this age they are going to need someone to guide them, and that's a great place to start because one powder doesn't necessarily work best in different cartridges. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good, man. It's, you can customize your loads. So HodgtonReloading.com, and then Ruger. Ruger LCP Max, okay? LCP, little bitty gun, pocket-sized gun, 380 auto, uh, 10 plus 1. They've made it... Bigger without yeah. almost making it bigger. It's, yeah. That's another one of those that you... It still weighs 10 head, ounces, 10.6 ounces. Head scratcher. Uh, has a 10-round mag. You can. There's also an extended 12-round mag. That's crazy. What? At shopruger.com. Find out more uh, at ruger.com. And then this is the best one. So don't, don't tune <laughs> out. This is the best part. This is might be the best giveaway we've done in a long time. It's pretty dang good. Like this is our lie. new giveaway. It's called Range Ready. It's the Range Ready giveaway. Um, multiple chances to win one of seven prizes. This is what you can win. The Benelli Super Black Eagle 3 and a case of Remington Hypersonic Steel. Yeah. Done. I mean, right there, that's like two yeah. grand, maybe? Two grand, at least. Uh, a case of Remington UMC 9mm and axle earbuds, like electronic earbuds. Or you could win the Sky Pistol DVG-1 9mm and $200 to use at Galco. Picks you right up. And Axle Earmuffs. Or $200 gift card and Axle Earbuds. Enter now at guntalk.com slash win. You have until August 27th. What are you doing still watching enter. us? Go uh, enter. Because they want to learn about our deals of the week. Oh, yeah, we got cool stuff Marlin, to talk about, too. The All McCloskeys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All that. And then they want to enter. Yeah, and then, then you want to go. You can there. multitask. Yeah. You know, if sure. you can listen to us and do that at the same time. You have some good internet. <laughs> oh. All right. So what's next, Mr. KJ? Okay. So we've got Deals of the Week. And I'm going to let you go over your like deal of the like week. we need like a theme song for this. Yeah. Deals of the Week. That's it. Do, 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 That's you probably more that. like it. Right there. You just TM that thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... My deal of the week actually hits right at home for all of us, and it's a shame that we have to have this, but I will tell you that I bought my son this backpack um, from Guard Dog Security. I bought it for him two years ago and have not regretted it. Um, it is a bulletproof backpack. Uh, very nice. I mean, and now we have a link in the description, um, and you can buy it for 109 bucks. Dude. I paid back to school two hundred dollars for this backpack. Did you? Really? I did. I really did. Okay. Um, this so wasn't. This, a, a this deal. wasn't a. Hey, I want to try this backpack out. Send me one. I have seen these guys at Shot Show. Mm -hmm. I've seen Talk them at to NRA. Them. I've talked to them, um, and I finally made the decision and just went like, you know what? I'm gonna spend the money because my kid's worth it. Heck yeah. And. The backpack is nice. Well, it we are in, in back to school world right now. Those we of are. us who have uh, little ones. Yep. So that's a deal, man. Um, the link is in the description. So check that out. My deal of the week is magazines. Magazines from like Natchez. What you read? Yeah, just magazines. Um, 
Southern living, <laughs> yeah. you know, better gardening. Um, Natchez Shooter Supply has a deal on magazines right now. You can never have enough magazines, let's be honest. If I think Tom says if you have a semi-auto gun, he recommends six magazines. Because if you at think about it, at a minimum, and you go, well, it comes with two or it comes with one, but if it breaks, if a magazine breaks, you and have a single shot gun. Yeah. It's it's worthless without magazines, and you gotta have a bunch of them, and keep them loaded. Yeah, so, so Ryan actually, I caught him fact checking this. Um, yeah, I wanted to make sure. He wanted to make sure, so what deal. did you find? Is it a deal? All right, it is a deal. I went to other sites. So for instance, a, a standard Glock 19 magazine holds 15 rounds. Another site I went to, popular online place, was twenty seven ninety nine. They've got it for $19.99 here. So go buy two or three of them. Also, something that they have they have AR mags, they have P mags on sale for $10.99, which, you know, or you can go to Cheaper Than Dirt and they'll charge you $100 for them when things are slim. Yep. Assholes. <clears throat> and, um, or you could you could do P mags for AR 10s. <laughs> A little salty on that one. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, F them. <laughs> um, also, Glock 33 round mags. Even if you don't maybe have a use for that, perhaps, on your Glock uh, 17, Glock 19, a lot of the pistol caliber carbines use Glock mags, and you can put those 33 round mags to use. So check them out. They got deals on them right now. Ryan Weiss says, where's the mask pocket on that bag? The media tells me that... All kids' bags need a mask pocket for the can bat we, sniffles. Can we not? Can we not go there today? Uh, <laughs> Ryan and I have been like, it would be we, a man, two we hour come, live. Seriously, we come in. You don't want that rant. Fired up. You don't want we've it. We've had we've had some epic, like, like rants uh, on the on the B side. Like we, I mean, we, we've, we've been talked. going at it. We've Charles talked. Charles uh, asked, how do you carry six mags? Well, you get six mag pouches. No, <laughs> you, you don't one carry. In the front pocket, you, you probably one in the don't back carry six mags, right. but it's uh, it's worth having. You know what it I'm is. Saying? It is. Let's be, let's make the assumption that one or two get lost, break, whatever. You got the extra yeah. mags. So links in the description if that interests any of you guys. Yeah. Um, again, the backpack like it it does weigh a little bit more because my son he's a little bit smaller it um, in stature. Builds character. But builds character. He gets used to it because I've had teachers go Dad's like, so heavy. "That back's back so." And I tell him like, "Look, your backpack goes with you." Like, and it's sad to say that in today's society, like, carrying a bulletproof backpack to school is not that out of the ordinary. But it's also not really a pain in the butt. No, it's just like, okay, it's a backpack. It's a backpack. And, and you saw the picture. It, it just looks, looks like a backpack. Yeah. It doesn't have Molly where. Yeah. Your 10-year-old looks like he's going to Iraq or yeah. anything like that. So it's kind of a uh, gray man, so to speak. It is yeah. gray. So, hey, you listened into the call this morning. We're going to transition here. We're going to yeah. go into, what's the state of Marlon? And Ruger. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, well, hey, KJ, before we go there. Yeah, is there is, oh, is, I did? Did oh, someone win geez. something? Oh, Come on. yeah. We've got a prize pack on the board today. But, Mix Gordon, you won. Congrats, what, what, dude. What did he win? Um, he actually won the Remington prize pack. Oh, yeah. Like, so he gets a lot of stuff. So congratulations. Is that Mike's Gordon? Miscellaneous Gordon? How does he Mix. do that? <laughs> Mix. Mix. <laughs> Miscellaneous Gordon. I mean, <laughs> there's not a period at the end of it. <laughs> He's like, damn it. I knew I should have picked a different uh, screen name. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, so um, Ruger had their quarterly earnings call today. They're publicly traded. So I kind of listened in a little bit. Um, guess what? Surprise. They made money last quarter. Um, I think, you think? If, and, and don't, you know, no, none of this is forward looking advice or uh, investment advice. So, you know, right. do what you will with yeah. your money. But um, I think in 2020, second quarter for them, they did $130 million in revenue. This year, same period, they did $200 million in revenue. That would be more. Yeah. Yes. They're, I mean, it's going to be a record-setting year for but them, But they right? did talk a little bit about Marlin. So the, the status of Marlin right now is sounded like they're building rifles, and we're expecting Marlin rifles out into the wild, out into the gun stores 
um, probably in the next couple months. I mean, they said fourth quarter. So now is this like kind of new stuff coming out, or are they they right now cranking out kind of some of the the, the standards? I and... think the suspicion is they're probably going to start with three or four of the standard like three thirty six okay. models, excellent stuff like that, and then we'll go from there. But I would, I know there's a lot to get up and running because they had to move a lot of stuff, but. Um, my suspicion would be probably middle of next year. This is totally a guess. They haven't told me anything. Middle of next year, certainly by SHOT Show 2023, we're going to be seeing new stuff from Excellent. Marlin, which will be... That's cool. You know, you know that all the engineers that work at Marlin and Ruger are, just are like, like, oh my gosh, once we, we get up and running, the cool stuff that we could do together. Yeah. I'm excited about it. A um, couple things here before we start. Moving on, Boyd Bauer says, what about Remington setting bad precedent with that settlement? Yeah, which we talked kind of, about this last week, right? We did. We talked about it, but it kind of leads us into kind of what we're going to talk about next. And uh, Mexico decides they are going to sue yeah. American uh, gun manufacturers. Yeah. yeah. So Mexico is like, oh, we'll get on that action. That's what uh, I think one of our viewers was asking about. So federal court Mexico, the country, has filed suit against reckless business practices, alleging reckless business practices that supply so-called illegal arms to Mexican drug cartels. The lawsuit named Smith & Wesson Barrett Firearms, what? Um, Colts Manufacturing, Glock, and Sturm Ruger. So we were just talking about Sturm Ruger. Yeah. $200 million in their last quarter. You think that they're like in their sales meetings going like, you know, we have an untapped market. The yeah. cartels. That's really who we need that's to, crazy. to try to do business that's with. That's ridiculous. It's, really? Uh, I'm going to sue McDonald's. Is this the same Mexican and go Duncan. government that basically lays over and and just acts like a... You know, well, they're corrupt. A pup, a pup. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to... Yeah. yeah. I and mean, how corrupt kind of can we get over yeah. there? Yeah. Well, if you want to take care of the cartels, why don't you actually <laughs> start enforcing your own laws first? All right, wait, there's more. <laughs> I, for, I left out some good parts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Companies needed to put an immediate stop to their harmful practices. He spoke after Mexican officials told reporters that the lawsuit sought an estimated $10 billion. <laughs> of course they did. What? What? <laughs> and how much, of, how much of that $10 billion ends up in the hands of the cartels? Right. All of it. <laughs> All of it. Right. Uh, NSSF, the National Shooting Sports Foundation, said it rejected Mexico's, claim, Mexico's claims that U.S. manufacturers were negligent in their business practices. Quote, the Mexican government is responsible for the rampant crime and corruption within their own borders. That's from Larry Keene. NSSF senior vice president. Ulf Ling says, so so every truck company will be sued if their trucks are used for terror attacks. Sure. I mean, why not? There's no, yeah. I don't, yeah, just. There's no, li no limiting principle at that point. So. Yeah, there's, I mean. Where do you stop? Where do you draw the line? It's crazy. And, but the, the, the sucky part about it is these companies are going to have to spend time and money defending it. Yeah. Right. Because yep. lawyers are so cheap. Right. So. And, and uh, no lawyer is going to turn down the case. They're going to yeah. go, yeah, let's go. Sure. Let's yeah. see what happens. Yeah. I'll make money on this for a while. Because um, no, Kearney Nichols says, shouldn't it include the Obama administration? Ooh, yeah. Maybe yeah. name him personally. Take his mansion in that Maryland. That stop, stop probably hits stop, a little too close to the home Stop his 700-person birthday party that he's throwing at the vineyards this weekend. Happy birthday to me. 700 people are going to be all... They're, I'm sure they're Ooh. all going to be masked up, too, but and it's another story. Yeah. Oh, Michelle's going to sing. Can, I, can we get a class action lawsuit against any spoon manufacturers that have caused me to be overweight because I eat too much ice cream? Going back to that Little Debbie Hungry Man discussion earlier? <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Dang you, Ben and Jerry. If there's no spoon, I wouldn't be able to eat it. It's your fault. It's so delicious. Yeah. Ben and Jerry. What's so for marketing you. like they did with Remington? Why do you put so many neat colors on your boxes? Right. It All should right. just say that, black see, and white ice cream. See, it's like the cigarette company saying there. Joe Camel oh. was trying to get after kids because it was it was like a drawn figure. Yeah. It was like, yeah. well, why do you have you know, Toucan Sam or or yeah. Tony the Tiger with all your fruit breakfast, yeah. your uh, sugar breakfast? 
Um, I'm telling you, like, guys are, like, chiming in on this with some great comments. I mean, like... You're allowed to read them. <laughs> we, we encourage that. They are part we, of the show. Right? The I'm telling you, like... You can't pick so, one. I know, there's so many Go. good ones. But Go. Luke does say, Bloomberg is footing the bill, so who cares how much money it takes? Daddy Bloomberg. Yeah. Um, in other news, guess what? You remember that couple in Missouri, the McCloskeys? Remember uh, she's like, here we go. Come at me. I got my 32 ACP. Um, <laughs> but just uh, her holding that. He's got the AR. Well, anyway, the Missouri governor has pardoned them. So they got that going for them. Good job. <laughs> now, uh, do you know what kind of gun that she had? I don't know, a Beretta Bearcat? No, know. it was like a Bryson. <laughs> like something I I've this, never I, heard I of. Know. Like it was like so random. But yeah. <laughs> but, who I mean. Who sold her that? <laughs> yeah, who was like, I, I guarantee you, he bought it for her. Oh, yeah. That's what that's happened. That's what you tip up barrel, baby. That's what you need. Um, Sorry. I can do that. We're in the South. It's Really, my, my natural reverse. accent when I'm not on the air. I sound like this all the time. Um, you went, like, kind of Oklahoma there. <laughs> or that, maybe, like, a West Western, Texas. Western Oklahoma? West Texas. It could, be, it could be deep south South Carolina. I don't know. Are we going yeah. vinegar in the barbecue sauce? What are we doing here? Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a deep cut. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Dang. Got really, we are so off yeah. track. Um, it's just, I, I don't know. It's, it's very, it's... I'm, I'm glad that they got pardoned because he is running for a seat now. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he's running for Senate, I believe. State? So good for him. State like, or like U.S. Senate? U.S. Okay. Ooh. Well, he is a lawyer after all. I, you got to go somewhere. You got to do yep. something. Okay. You got to get, get paid. All right. But yeah. Uh, Obama's fault. Remember Fast and Furious. Uh, there it is. Me Mexican government says, thank you, cartel. May I have another? <laughs> yeah. So, but we've got open borders. I mean, that's a, it's so it's a really okay. There, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, We're, he's yeah. running for U.S. Senate. We're, we got our, our viewers chiming in, keeping us. Yeah. But I was right. Keeping us up to date. Come hey, on. that's cool. Great. Jason, we're on the same page here. Fruity Pebbles, cartoons, mm. kids. Oh, fruity I did some. I still eat some. Mm. Fruity Childhood yeah. diabetes can be yours. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so. We, they, we can have open borders, and you could still sue us. I have a question. Whatever happened to the Canadian border? If it's you still, show your card, closed. you can go. It's still there. I think it's still closed. Oh, yeah, I would think it's still yeah. closed. Yeah. What would happen? I don't if think we the Canadians are allowed to go from the province Canadians. to province. <laughs> can like you, we all take over the? They're so yeah, nice, but, though. They'd be like, okay, come okay, on. Come Here's on. your maple. Syrup. Sorry for getting your way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for getting in your way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I grew up. I grew up north of Canada. Man, I'm telling North you, Canada. like, yeah, it, oh, Lord. Joe, oh, what are you true. doing? All right, Jeez. So, so check this out. This uh, is one of our shirts. And it's, this is one of our hats. It's called the Miramar. You'll see, because it's too close it, for it, missiles, it, we're switching to guns is what it says in the back. Is it spelled right? I don't know. Missiles? <laughs> missiles. <laughs> Spell missiles. Test right now. Type no. it in. Do you know? Um all right. What well, now? What? I'm, that's that. That's all our that's show. All, that's all we're that's doing. That's a lot. Um, Bushnell just launched their new DMR3 optics. Yeah. Uh, Elite tactical line. So that's cool. I, I had to check. That's actually what I shot at the uh, long range shoot. Should we do like a soft announcement about Houston and NRA show? What? That's happening. Right? Yes, it's a month away. Yeah. So you okay. can go ahead and soft launch. All right. Here you go. Here we go. We're going to be in Houston for the NRA show, um, and Thursday, before the show starts, at the 8th Wonder Brewery, something special is going to happen. Oh, yeah. It's going to be big. We will be there Thursday night. Thursday night. Come hang out. Um, and if you're around the show, we're going to be we're going to be in the Ruger booth um, Friday. Friday. So opening day of the show, stop by the Ruger booth, say hi. If you see us on the show floor... Let's go hang out afterwards. Let's let's go have a beer or something. But September second at the Eighth Wonder Brewery, which is like just a couple blocks from the convention center, Lockdown is helping us put this on. It's basically 
a group of guys in the gun industry who put together a band, and we're going to play music. So it's going to be fun. Um, yeah. There's going to be beer. There's going to be lockdown swag there. And there'll be more information to come, but and lockdown, that is the... lockdown is sponsoring. Yes, the, is sponsoring the show, and this is going to be a big show. I mean, it's going to be have fun. A lot of people. It's going to be fun. So hopefully, if you're in or around the Houston area, or you're coming in for the NRA show, um, look us up. Look us up. Are Find we, us. Are, are we not announcing the name of the band yet, or did you already announce that? It's the Hired Guns. It That's a great name. It's the Hired yes. Guns again. Okay. But our our tour name is it's the Ghost Gun Tour. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right guys i guess that's it for us so enter to win all that pile of stuff yeah it's a pile yeah guntalk.com slash win we'll see you next time thanks for watching gun talk live for more great gun content subscribe to our youtube facebook instagram and twitter pages you can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.